Alright, I'm back for part three. And in part three, I'm going to talk about how Mac and Apple all together is innovative and it's simple and you can have a computer and do great things with it very easily. So, I'll get into that, but first, their Mac is definitely innovative. And what, if you don't know what that means, it basically, they think of new things, so they introduce new technology. For example, the recent MacBook Air. That notebook is like, thinner than this pencil. That's a thin notebook. I know the entire thing is not like that, but there's no other notebook out there that thin. And, I mean, even just, like, the features that they build in the Mac OS X. I mean, look how easy it is to open an application. You click a stack, and you click it, and that's it. Oh, oh, or quick quick look. Yeah, quick look. You, you can open a document without opening the program first. You can just, like, you don't need to have the program. Say you, want, you did a Photoshop, and you want to preview a document. You don't have to open up Photoshop to preview it. It can even be a Photoshop document and you don't have to have the whole application open. So you can just take a quick look, that's why it's called that, and you can you can edit it, whatever. Um, another thing, time machine. That's like crazy. That's never been done before. Have your system automatically back up onto a hard disk that you pretty much have full control over. Like, and even, it's not even they went a step further than that. They made the user interface of you drifting back in space but to get your file going back in time. I mean, like, Apple doesn't half-ass anything. They get the job done, and they do it the right way the first time. Um, Apple, bottom line, Apple is innovative. They come up with new things. They test new technologies that most of the time work. Um, I know that I'll, I'd, I'm definitely going to love Time Machine. I'm going to buy a Time Capsule when I get mine. But I won't go into products or anything. So that's just basically Mac being innovative. So now I'm going to move on to how simple it is. And I kind of mentioned it before. Opening an application. All you have to do is go into the dock, click an icon, and then click the app you want to open. You, it, it's that simple. I know on a like on a PC you can just double click a desktop icon yeah but I don't want like 20 icons on my desktop I'd rather have the dock which is why I install this on its freeware and just google it but stacks makes it so simple the finder makes it so simple to locate your files again time machine makes it so simple to back up your data automatically um, the, oh, Mac OS X just includes features that that would that are years ahead of Windows. Um, in my opinion, Vista is copying off of Tiger. I mean, like, here I'll, I'll give you a few examples. All right, I know this is usually down here, but I put it up here for the dock. But let's see, Windows Search. It looks a hell of a lot like Spotlight. I could type .mp3 searching. And I found everything, but I want to show you something else. See, I know you can't see it real well, but if you have Vista, look. The ma they had the same exact magnifying glass, but instead of having it like this, they tilted it. Woohoo! And, like, even like this sidebar here, I'll open sidebar they're called gadgets but not widgets I mean you can't tell me that they didn't copy that they, they copy stuff off of previous releases of OS X so that proves and there, there's a lot more things that they in my opinion copied off of Tiger so, I mean, they haven't even touched Leopard yet. And there's so many features in Leopard that Windows I don't think will ever have. Because they can't really have Time Machine without copying it. Like, they, they'd they have some different crappy user interface for it. But it would not it would never be as good. It's, it's so simple. You plug it in, you click yes, I want to make my backup, and it does it for you. 
and you lose a file, you click one thing in the dock, you find your file, you click restore, and it restores it. And that's, that's all there is to it. So, I mean, Mac OS X is so simple that you can just do anything so fast. I mean, iLife. It doesn't, like, the iTunes, iPhoto, iMovie, iDVD. Everything is just included. There's nothing else. And iTunes, you plug your iPod in, it sinks. Zoom, there's some special software, and I know it's not that much harder than iTunes, but the point being is that it doesn't come on Microsoft. Like, on Vista, they didn't have a built-in program for Zoom. You have to download it, or it comes on an installation disk. iTunes built right into Mac OS X. Um, iPhoto, it's just the way, it's like the default to um, preview your images. Like, they, Apple thinks before they release their operating system and they listen to the customers and so in, in return the customers buy all their stuff because it's what they wanted. It's what the customers are looking for. If Apple makes it so easy for a, a person new to the computer world to go out and buy a computer. Sure, it might be a little more expensive, but you pay for what you get. What you get is a great system that will last you for years. I've had my PC since, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before. And this thing's crashed, I don't know how many times. And I'm not like a computer nerd, but I'm also, I know what I'm doing on a computer. I know how to back up my stuff, I know how to retrieve files. It's just, it's Windows, it's the operating system, it's not my computer. It's, it's, op Windows operating systems just aren't, aren't as good, bottom line. They're not as reliable, they're not as simple, um, they don't have new features. See, Microsoft's not innovative at all. They take technology we've had for years and just make it look better. They don't make any new features. Like, for example, they all they've done is update, say, Media Player. How many years has Media Player been around? And they haven't even come up with a better program. If you want a better program, you have to download it. But the Mac applications, they constantly get updated. Like in there, there's always being updates released, and it's just better. Also, it's more secure. You don't have to install virus protection on a Mac. That's that digs right into simplicity. You don't have to worry about going online and getting a virus and have to restore your system. You just don't have to worry about it. I mean, and plus, and an antivirus software makes your computer lag so much you have to have like four gigs for it not to lag very much four gigs of RAM and it's just it's so much less of a hassle so maybe you spend another four hundred dollars on a system that'll last you well worth four hundred dollars in the future and that was my phone if you heard it so, I mean, even like the iSight camera. See, right now I'm using a video camera. That's not very good. But even on the iMac that I'm going to get, which some of you have been asking what Mac I'm going to get, it has the camera built right in. I mean, you don't have to buy a webcam and plug it in USB and waste a USB port. You don't have to do that. It has a built-in mic, everything. It's just the simple way to enjoy your computer, basically. If you want to really get the most out of a Windows computer, you gotta put RAM in it, you gotta download so many files, you have to have a huge hard drive to fit all the files. And if you're like me, I hate the way Windows looks, which is why I, did, I installed the transformation pack. So that even slows my computer down. As you see, I have like spaces where I can drag the separate spaces. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. That was just a really quick-ish video of the reasons I think Mac is innovative and Microsoft isn't, and that Macs are so much easier to use than a Mac. If you're brand new to the computer world, I highly recommend you get a Mac. You'll have a, a fifth, probably more, well, like less, like a tenth of the problems you'll have on a PC, and a tenth as often. And especially if you use Time Machine, if your system does for some crazy reason crash, just plug in your drive, your or just restore it off Time Capsule wirelessly, and your system's back to normal. So, um, 
that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you have any questions, Twitter, YouTube, MySpace, the usual. Please subscribe to my videos, it would be much appreciated. Um, visit my channel, and I'll see you in part four. See you later.